Hello my beautiful badgers, Messi cut it back again with another asset store review, this time it is the City Builder London from Reverse Interactive which is currently on a sale on the Unity asset store. If you're looking for buildings to make your wonderful London game well, this is probably the only asset you're going to get on the asset store that will scratch that itch of yours. Not only is this pack on sale, but if we pop over to the Unity Asset Store, we can see that the new gen sci-fi slums and also the CT Builder Steampunk pack from Reverse Interactive are also on sale. There are a load of other packs also in this series. They work perfectly, I have to say perfectly, with the CT Builder London, even the CT Builder Cyberpunk, which I picked up ages ago in a 50% sale and I haven't regretted it at all. HDRP really makes these assets come to life and I'll be playing about with HDRP inside Unity. I know, I said HDRP. Am I getting converted? Probably, I think so. It's about time that HDRP is now viable for you to be making beautiful, beautiful games. Sit back and join, I'll see you all in a second. Here we are inside HDRP, playing about with the City Builder London Pack from Reverse Interactive. There is a URP version available and the built-in hopefully will be coming soon. That's what it says on the Asset Store page. What do I think of this pack? Well, it does feel like London to me. It feels like the City of London. I'm Londoner, born and bred, as you can tell from my deep Cockney accent. And I've spent a lot of time in the City of London and this really does feel like it. It does need to have some skyscrapers, glass towers, in the distance because that's what London looks like now and if you do have the other city builder packs like the city builder urban well there are some glass buildings in there that would really work well here so if you do get both well lucky of you because they scale and texture and they work perfectly even with the cyberpunk one you could throw in some cyberpunkage in here if you wanted I played about on my live twitch stream order w.twitch.tv slash messy coda with the new gen sci-fi slums which is also on a sale right now and how did it perform i put in fifty-three thousand prefabs into my scene i made thousands of buildings and i put in the uh, gpu instancer and i was getting 80 fps without it i was the <laughs> it was like you know crawling with like five fps and the editor was about to explode at one point but the even without it even without it this performs really really well i love these buildings i love the windows that you get in this pack it's the same as we played about with the city builder urban and if i go over here to the scene here you do see over here these ones have got a frame and that frame is here from the window frame if i actually delete that you'll see oh actually what i mean it's there on the window frame um and can i just get rid of one of these and then there you go so there's the window frame if i Go down to, let's find another building I was playing about with. Oh, here we go. This one here. So if I throw in, throw in a, I was very silly. Okay. I went, you know what? I'm going to make some shutters. And then I realized they were internal. They're actually inside the window. You don't put shutters on. I'm going to call them purple curtains. These are my purple curtains. But if you wanted it to be a proper 3D object inside, well, you would make the depth bigger 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 and then you could just put something in there that's one of my gripes is that these shop windows do look like basically the shops are empty so you could just throw things in there like put a mannequin in the window put a, some signage or something like a sale going and here we've got we've got another one for interior depth as well so i'm gonna undo all of that but i'm really happy that those features are in there some of these shop windows in the um, sci-fi slums you can actually see all the props inside I'm not sure if there's one here let's have a look is there anything here that has any shops that's got something in there no but you do have ones with a TV and a sound system that's cool that's very cool any beds anything any shenanigans going on upstairs no no. There is a daytime scene as well. Let's pop into the daytime scene and then we'll pop over into the let's not save if it asks us. And then we'll pop into the scene that I made with all the different props. You do need to have, I'm gonna say, um some some extensions. I can't wait for him to be adding more onto it because 
you've got to have your classic red phone box for London even though they're basically used as toilets these days you do need to have it in there you've got the post box here on the wall you've got your dustbins here and that's what they're like in the city of London but it would be nice if these were um, able to have the mesh separated you could go inside them and over here you've got the phone box here that you, the phone box post box the big post box here as I've got I've got phone boxes on my mind phone boxes on my mind there isn't a lollipop for crossing the road you know what that means if you've been in the UK but and you've got the zebra crossing here zebra crossing should have the lollipop on uh, the pelican crossings should have these buttons here on the sides um, although saying that I think I'm, there's a nice zebra crossing near me that's got this the other little gripe I had was this so the button for pushing to crossing the road is on this side which it wouldn't be it would be on this side and there's this black box with the red dot now, apparently there are there's possibly one place in the entire uh, city of London that has this and reverse int managed to find a picture that had that one thing look looking up here right at the top looking down it is a beautiful pack it really is as much as my little jesting and, and joking about uh, the traffic lights and pedestrian crossings it is an incredibly beautiful pack and I, I am going to do a video where we're playing about with this and the other city builder urban packs and making um, city of London you know what there's some other packs on the asset store that have got some mon uh, monuments and and nice little um, landmarks so we could throw those in as well just to, to flesh it out right, let's pop inside the other thing because you don't get a scene that has all the props laid out, I made one myself just so I can showcase these to you. I didn't put in all of the signs because you know what a letter looks like, use your imagination. But here are the signage props that you get. So you've got this little circly thing that you can make your own look. Oh! <laughs> and if we go over to the flags, we've got two different layout flags. We've got a flag that stands up and we've got a flag that's on its side here for buildings the flag itself so if I click on the flag here with the flag pole but I can't seem a way of making this flag go up and down is there a part of the shader graph flag that we can do that um, offset nope um, what about the Y nope that's for going okay, wibbly wobbly so how about this nope okay so I can't seem a way of making the flags go up and down so if there you had to go half mast I uh, wouldn't work out to do that I'm not sure what the Yorkshire flag is doing in here but it's there for some reason we've got the Welsh uh, yeah, classic British flag in there and also if you're gonna make stick a police station or something in your game and away you go we got the fronts of the buildings so you can use these for, we don't have any interiors made as in proper interiors hopefully that pack would come soon you know what should we click play and go big let's do that and that way you can actually see these possibly a bit better so oh, while we're there we've got these double-sided uh, street lamps here and danger electrical keep away don't blow yourself up we've got one with a little L shape we've got first for corners if you didn't guess and here's one just sticking out we've got different traffic lights as well and your classic single one here yeah I would love to have these separated hopefully it's going to come soon I won't keep harping on about it you know what my view is we've got the interior the, the front of the buildings with the doors and the windows and here just all the little windows Lo I'm loving this look at that that's lovely it really is um, here we go we've got these hello and I'm a style with a if you want to have a glass door open door you could change that to anything you wanted really and if we pop over here these again these these here can be changed it's just a material that you've got for the frames of the windows and they can be anything you want loving this shaders oh look at those with the bricks up there let's go and have a look at this performs very well Let's go and have a look at more props here. We've got props for the for your roofs. Uh, not only you could you could put those internally as well if you wanted. These go on, these are for modding and putting on the top of your roofs. Talking about roofs, let's have a look. The different types of roofs that you get in this pack. We've got a chimney on there. 
So you know, these could you could use these on anything really. If you want a collection of roofs, the rain on there, a bit wet and moist. We got pathways over here. Your circular path, small path, shrubbery, a tree. These are these are for your islands and the road as you're crossing the road. Here's all the different trims for the buildings. So you get lots of different modular pieces, so you can really flesh out these buildings uh, to your heart's content. And if we go over here, this is for the top. This is a flat top of roofs. So these are more of your residential roofs. Here's a flat, and some people like to have a bit of a garden up there to sunbathe on, or grow, or maybe play tennis. They can do. Here's the archway. I do love the archway. I'm just confused about why the archway has got some greenery on the top. That just confused me. I don't know what that's all about. The fact that there isn't a phone box uh, makes me a little bit sad, and the fact that there isn't a, lo a lollipop on there. Uh, also, so hopefully those are going to come. What we do have is some classic London. Uh, I think this is, must be everywhere in England. But uh, these are proper city. And if you wanted to know if you were in the city of London, there you go, city of London. I would love to have this dustbin actual able to be used internally. So just break out this mesh, have another sub mesh inside there, so you can animate that dustbin opening and closing. And here are now you are asked in the stream, does he use the same in all of his packs for these kind of uh, railings? No, he doesn't. Each pack has a unique different railing, which means if you do have a lot of his packs, you've got lots of different styles of railings as well. Crossing the road, here we go, signage. You can just f change these out to whatever texture you want to put on those as well. So you've got the key shapes to have, and then you can change those out to have whatever sign you need. And these would go on your roofs, so the pigeons don't want, or you know, people trying to break in will get their hands skewered, and that kind of stuff. So um yeah nice and safe i would imagine don't try that one at home so they, you do get a lot in this pack more than you think just by looking at it it's a shame we don't have this laid out in the in there i might you know what shall i send it to him and go here you go i laid it out for you how's that <laughs> let's get back into the other scene and we're talking about you know vert counts and everything so let's just have a look um so we've got this is 77 verts at 55 tries. Uh, uh, and this one here is 2,855 verts at 1,835 tries. We don't get lots on these, but as I say, I had 53,000 objects in my scene using GPU instancer, and I was still getting 80 FPS. But even without that, if I hop over here to the nighttime scene and I Put on my game. Oh, hang on. Dragged it out by accident. Put on here stats. And let's click play. In the night time. In the night garden. I'm getting 100. Oh, there's a spike there. There you go. HDRP on my little toaster machine. I'm still getting 199, 88, 130, 120. If I put uh, occlusion culling on here and was trying to optimize this, you'd be getting even more. And this is me without knowing anything about HDRP or what I'm supposed to be doing. I really do like this pack. I hope people do pick up this pack so that it does grow. Hopefully, the more that people buy this pack, the more he'll be encouraged to do add-ons and add more features and add more props. If you do buy this pack and you've got the other packs from Reverse Interactive, then do not worry because they are all compatible with each other. The scaling is perfect, the texture is perfect, everything just works great. I've tried about on my live Twitch stream and it did look beautiful. And if you're wondering what else you can pick up at the moment, well, the new gen sci-fi slums, which is uh, effectively like the uh, city urban, but on steroids, the quality of these. This is, uh, if you've got a more powerful, beefy machine that you're making your games for, then the new gen are the ones for you. Um, saying that, the City Builder series are still incredibly beautiful, and I love them as well. But if you're looking for higher resolution, higher quality, then the new gen series is going to blow your mind, and it does work really well. I played about with the sci-fi slums, and I also threw in 
the Cyberpunk pack that I picked up in a 50% sale ages ago. Uh, where are you, Cyberpunky Pank? Here it, here it is, the Cyberpunk pack. And I threw in assets from this one, and they worked beautifully. I have to say that HDRP really, really brings out the best in that Cyberpunk pack. So if you'd like this video and you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell all of your friends, random people on the street, that currently Reverse Interactive have got a sale on over on the Unity Asset Store. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.